Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on translations. A translation is where a shape is moved or slid so many uh, squares to the left or right and then so many squares up or down. Um, so here's a typical question. It says translate the rectangle one square left and two squares up. So I've just put this down to remind you this way is to the left, this way is to the right, up is obviously up and down is obviously down. Okay, so translate the shape or the rectangle one square left and two squares up. So what the, what I recommend is that we move each corner at a time. Okay, so here we've got this point. I'm gonna move it one square left. So one to the left and two up. So one, two. So it moves to here. Now, rather than just trying to draw the rectangle now, what I would recommend doing is doing another point. Okay, so here we've got another point. We're gonna move it one square left and two squares up, one, two. So it'll move to here. And again, we could probably just draw the rectangle now, but I, I like doing sort of all the points. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna move it one square left and two squares up, one, two. And again, this one, one left and two up to here. So there we've got our rectangle. We would just then get our ruler. We would then join up the point and then that would be the rectangle moved or translated one to the left and two squares up. Okay, next. Okay, this question says, now this one's on a coordinate grid, so we've got our x-axis and y-axis, um, but to be honest, we will just use the same approach. It says, translate the square two to the right, so obviously that's that way, and four squares down, okay? Um, so we'll do one point at a time, so I'm gonna start off with this point, two to the right, so one, two, and four down, one, two, three, four. Okay, this point, two to the right, one, two, and four squares down, one, two, three, four four. This point now, two to the right, one, two, and four squares down, one, two, three, four. And the last one, whenever we do it, one, two, one, two, three, four, it'll move here. So then we can just join up our sides and then that's where the shape has been translated to. Uh, please excuse that. <laughs> um, if you were doing it in a test, use a ruler, okay? But there's this, this square that's been translated, two squares to the right and four squares down. Okay, next. Okay, we've got now a triangle on another set of coordinate axes. We've got the x-axis and the y-axis, and it's got negative numbers, positive numbers, and so on. But again, we're just use, it's just going to use the same technique where we're going to move the triangle four squares to the left this way and one square down. So let's do one point at a time. So four to the left, one, two, three, four, and one down. This point, one, two, three, four, and one down. And finally, this point, one, two, three, four, and one down. And then we get our ruler and we just join up those three points and we have translated or moved the triangle four squares to the left and one square down. Okay, next. Okay, this question, let's have a read of it. So the question says, a rectangle has been translated from position A to position B. So it's been moved from here, position A, to position B. So from here to here. It says, complete the sentence. The uh, rectangle has been moved blank squares to the right and blank squares up. So what we just need to do is figure out how it's been moved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a point. So I'm gonna choose this point and I'm gonna see how does it move to the corresponding point, okay? So the top right one to the top right one. It's very important that you go from the same point, so the top right to the top right, or maybe the bottom right to the bottom right or so, okay? So um, let's see how many squares to the right. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six squares to the right, and one, two squares up. So the rectangle has been moved six squares to the right and two squares up. I always like to check with another two points. So I'm gonna choose the bottom left and the bottom left. So let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, and two up, that's right. And that's it. So let's have a look at our last question. The last question says, a triangle has been translated so that the point A moves to the point B. Draw the triangle in its new position. Now, in this one, what you could do is see how we've moved from A to B and then move the other points in the same way. Um, but as you've seen, every time we move a shape, it's the same shape, okay? So it, the shape doesn't change in appearance. You can see whenever we move them, they're just they're the same. So we've got a triangle. The point A is moved to the point B. A is the top. So if we just go down three squares, one, two, three, like this, and we go across two, one, two, and join them up. Um, we should really use a ruler. So let's go down three and across two, and then join them up. Then you can see we've got the triangle B. And that's it. Um, so we've moved A to B, and we've moved the rest of the triangle as well. 